Did you see that? There's a shoal bass over there, bro. Is that a big bass right there? That is a bass. It's a freaking chunk of a shoal bass. Yeah, dude, another shoal. Shoal bass, dude. They said they're walking down. I said, heck nah. We have a mighty fine trek ahead of us. Shoal bass, my very first. I've never caught one before. Jumped like into the side panel of my truck. You see my truck? There's gotta be a bass around one of these pillars, man. Oh, dude, 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 I got a fish. Not a grand slam, this is a largemouth. He's got a messed up fin right here, you probably can't tell, but we're gonna go ahead and make this quick because like I'm getting pushed away already. It's gonna be hard to film. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this one rip. All right, y'all, it's been definitely weird. It's been cool exploring this place, but we definitely came to catch some fish. That's what we're trying to do here. It's been weird figuring this place out. Yo, I just had this one just come out of nowhere and smoke this thing. All right, y'all, second fish of the day for me, a little largemouth bass. I'm gonna get him back in the water. He's definitely a different color than the largemouth we're used to seeing back home. Interesting looking fish, healthy looking though. Alright y'all, tossing this little swim bait I got right here, the one that Chase hooked me up with. See if something will eat this, because evidently what we've been doing ain't working. So I'm going to just see if I can make magic happen here with one of these swim baits. Wow. Oh, got him. Swim bait. Another freaking sunfish, man. What the? So we got trash fish god. Looks like shoal bass west now. And we got pan fish god right here. I'm not proud of this in any way, shape, or form, but I did just throw a swim bait on and catch this like third cast. Oh, I wasn't even sure if that thing was still alive, to be honest with you. We gotta be missing something, y'all. We gotta be missing something. Alright y'all, there's another one. Walker's trying to swim bait out now. I'm throwing still like a rage crawl. Fish I've been catching, that's what I've been picking them up on. It's something that touches the bottom. Still no pattern there. There's really no pattern in the fish. They're so scattered. Wes was catching his on a whopper plopper this morning. It's just, it's been a weird day. And I don't know if it's weird to us because it's a new place or it's weird to us because where we're getting bites, you're not finding any kind of pattern. It can be on the bank, it can be in the middle. It's just really weird. Definitely a lot different than we thought. It's still awesome, super clear, but I'm gonna get this guy back in the water.
Well, my GoPro died in the middle of that fight. We definitely want some bigger fish and I really want Walker to get a shoal bass. That was like the whole point we came. Wes has gotten one, I've caught one. I'd like for Walker to catch one. It makes me wonder, man, if it's like an odd day for here. You know how we have odd days on our river? I wouldn't say it's the wrong day because we have caught fish. I don't know what people normally do in here though, you know? It doesn't bother me grinding to catch fish. It never does. But I definitely would like to see another shoal bass today. Walker, I think I'm on. I think I'm on, dog. Dude, it's a good one. It's a freaking good one. It's a big shoal bass. <laughs> it's a freaking chunk of a shoal bass. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Dude. That is a chunky fish on the rage crawl. So cool, man, to catch a fish that you really know nothing about, a species you don't know anything about. They just look awesome. They feel crazy. The mouth's weird. It's just an interesting fish. But I'm going to get this, this big girl back in the water. Freaking awesome, dude. Freaking awesome. So just a little update of what's been going on. It's gotten hot, like really hot. GoPros are overheating and turning off. Whoever said fall was coming definitely lied. This water feels amazing though. And I'm definitely gonna get my flandies in here. So is Walker and Wes is over there eating pizzas, man. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break. We still wanna fish. We still wanna get Walker on a shoal bath. Today wasn't about numbers. It's cool that we've caught a couple. Wes got on some good ones this morning. But the goal for the rest of this video for me is for Walker to get a shoal bath. We came out here to mark one off the bucket list. That's the whole thing right here is marking that fish off the bucket list. The last one I caught was good. We want you to get one like that or bigger. So we're gonna take a little break y'all. We're probably gonna take a dip. This water is gin clear. It's beautiful here. So we're gonna cool off and then we're gonna get back to the grind. Dude, it's a sholey. Dude, it's a shoal, man. Yes, dude, finally. Changed up tactics, boy. Desperate rig, AKA Cinco Cuz. My very first shoal bass. You guys know what that means, right? That means that all three of us now are Grand Slam anglers. That means that we've caught five of the eight species of bass. And apparently not a lot of people do that. That means we've caught largemouth, smallmouth, shoal, spotted bass, and Bartram, that's five. We've caught all five of those. I'd like to catch all eight at some point in my lifetime, but this thing is gnarly looking. I don't even care if it's small. Look at the patterns on this thing. Looks like a tiger. That's like one of the sickest things I've ever seen. It's like even cooler than catching a smallmouth in my opinion, just the way they look. But hey, this is a bass I've never caught before, crossed off my bucket list. I'm gonna let it go. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Dude, how many fish have you caught today? Do you know? Do you know how many fish you've caught? The one I caught earlier was kind of Mondo. Like, dude, they look way different than a normal bass. Oh, sh dude, 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 keep walking. He's in there. It's another shoal, dude. All right, y'all, that's the third shoal bass of the day for me. These fish are so pretty. When Kevin Fox told us about these, I was like, yeah, that's something I wanna do, but until you actually go and catch one of these and experience what it's like to fight one, it is something unreal. I'm glad we're getting on them. I'm glad Walker got on one now, and Wes caught them too, and we all got to experience this. But I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. It's definitely an insane looking fish. See you later, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Such a sick fish, man. My bites for me with the shoal bass have been coming on this rage crawl on the bullet weight. Walker's throwing a black Cinco now. It seems like it's doing good, and Wes was killing them on the whopper plopper this morning. It's weird. They'll pretty much hit anything your normal bass will hit. 
We're gonna get back to it. Hopefully we can catch a couple more. So we're kind of sitting here now, trying to get me on another fish. Finally found Wes again. Wes disappeared off the face of the earth. We didn't know where the heck he went. You definitely have a banger for a video today, at least in our opinion. We're satisfied, but you can never catch too many fish. So we're gonna keep trying for sure. Oh, dude. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, another show. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Finally, man. It's what I call a decent shoal bass. You guys have noticed it has this two stripe pattern right there, and it looks, I don't know, man, I can't describe it. It's almost like it has a copper look to it with a dark green color, and it's just, for one thing, they don't fight like all the other bass, but hey, I'm actually really excited that I caught a decent fish today instead of all these peckerheads. I'm panfish god, peckerhead god. Now I'm decent sized shoaly god. So hey, we're gonna let her go. Hopefully this fish will live to fight another day. Oh my goodness. There's a gar. Big gar. Uh, he's letting it hit the bottom and hopping it. And when it hops, that's when he's getting his bite. Kind of crazy there. We caught five different species of bass. Dude, I've caught six different species of bass this year. I caught a striper at the lake this year, remember? I wonder how they come up with the names for them. Like, if I was gonna name a bass, I'd name it like a Pepperidge Farm bass or something. You know what I mean? Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Another showy for the ages, peeps. It's a small one. A little taco. Did you know they made taco shoal bass, dude? Oh, well, y'all dropped him in the water. But that was a taco showy. I didn't get to show you guys that fish because I dropped him. He slithered out of me hand, but uh. It's another shoal bass. Still pretty epic. Quick release, man. That's what you do with them taco bass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he knew. So he, like, he let me feel him and he was like, all right, dog, I'll see you later. Oh my goodness, man. Dude, this shade is heaven, man. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, but it definitely is noticeable that they ain't biting over here. I haven't caught a single fish on this side all day. About to be spoken too soon. Dude, that was a hard pull. These fish are acting stupid again. It was like we got on them and then they kind of turned off. I don't know what to do, dude. I feel like we're just at that time. I'm just trying to catch like where the, the big ones, you know what I mean? I feel like when I make a cast, I'm like specifically aiming for a big one. Dude, you ever get that, that perfect Cinco cast and it just slips in like a torpedo? Got a bass, I think. Yeah, I definitely got one. Peck ahead shoal bass, but you know what, people? A shoal bass is a shoal bass, whether it's a peck ahead or not. And just like all the rest of them, that's a gnarly looking fish, man. Dude, that might have been the most graceful release on one of those we've gotten all day. <laughs> we have a mighty fine trek ahead of us, not in the kayaks. We actually have to walk through all of that junk over there, and it's a long walk back to the boat ramp. There's no way we can get in the kayaks because every two seconds we have to get back out to get over some rocks that you get stuck on. And I don't know, man, today has been one of them days. One of those days that are like half epic and super crappy but you love it anyway. That's kind of what today is. So basically the boat ramp is right over there on the other side of all these rocks. I don't know what the plan is after that, but we got to make it down there somehow, some way. And there's a certain way you're supposed to do it, according to Kevin. So I guess we're gonna try and figure that out. They said they're walking down. I said, heck nah.
Big in, dude. Big in. Big in, homie. It's a big in. It's a freaking tank, dude. It's a freaking tank. <laughs> how? How, dude? We were like all bummed out and like feet down and then this happens. Like, look, this thing is not giving up, dude. This is sick. That right there makes the day for me, y'all. That is what I came to catch, and I caught one. This makes the whole, you know, deer running into the walker's side of the vehicle a lot better for me. <laughs> Dude, I, I wanted to, I kind of, should I weigh it? Three, eight, three pounds, eight ounces. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. I mean, considering we just started catching these today. The thing is sick. Heck yeah, man. That made my day, y'all. Well, we know they get that big. I've seen some that look like they're like five pounds, but I haven't seen any bigger than that. I think that rapids up there after that, that's our out. Well, we're almost to the boat ramp, y'all. I don't know what the plan is, if we're getting out or if we're gonna hang out. I have no clue. I just know your boy is tired. Chase is tired. Until we get to the boat ramp, I'm gonna fish. I wanna see if we can pull one more in, but if not, then it is all good, man. I'm satisfied with how day today went. I might not have caught any like super big ones, but I did catch my first shoal bass and that's a big deal to me. And it was cool being out here with the homies, man. It's fun. You know, you gotta be grateful for stuff like this because not everybody can go out and do this stuff. You know what I mean? And I don't know, man, just always be humble. Always be grateful that you can come out here and cruise down this river with your friends and all have a good time. That's something you should always feel blessed for. And that's how I'm feeling right now. So almost to the boat ramp, probably about a half mile and that'll probably be it, but I don't know. I really don't care if we get in or get out. Oh my God, dude. No, please tell me he did not let go of it. No, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, it feels like a good one, dude. I can't tell. He's definitely got some pull. Definitely got some pull. The hook never came through. Dude, that was like a two, like maybe a one and a half. But that was crazy, dude. That would have been my biggest of the day. Yep, that fish came off, people. All good, though. All good. This way? Yeah. Going back to this bank, because that's where they're biting at. Look, that's the only grass I've seen all day, and it's up in the bank. I'm like at a freaking loss. Part of me wants that, and part of me wants this. What to do, what to do. There's a bass over there somewhere, but there could be a shoal bass over here. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm not gonna give up, y'all, until I absolutely have to. One more redemption bass, y'all, come on. I wanna catch as what Flair would call one of them Nebraska brutes. There's gotta be a bass between here and there. It doesn't even have to touch my entire phalange. I just want part of it. I told Chase, I said, look, man, I know it's getting dark. I know Wes is ready to go, but I want to get one more fish. The boat ramp's right there, and I said, I'm going to keep fishing until I can't anymore. Ended up getting kind of in these rapids. I'm getting blown away. <laughs> I finally got my last fish of the day, and I am 100% happy with this being my last fish. I will take it. We can get out. We got to drag these kayaks, man. And Dude, you ready to go home, bro? Taco bass, bro. <laughs> it's like hard to do an outro. I'm so worn out. Yeah, man. I feel like an absolute zombie right now, man. This venture started at 2 o'clock this morning. And it's 1046 at night time. It's very late. I have to go inside and go to sleep. Before that, I got to take a shower. Today was a very, we'll just call it this. It was a very interesting day. Dude. But it was awesome in the same aspect. Like, it was, it was still cool. Today was epic, man. We got to cross the shoal bass off. Grand slam, both of us. Both yeah. of us. Wes coming in clutch too, man. He helped us film a little bit. And he caught a bunch of fish. He got a video done. So shout out to the homie Wes. And shout out to Kevin Fox for 
giving us this location and showing us where to put in and put out and kind of what to throw because we were kind of at a loss we didn't know what we were doing they ended up helping i feel like kevin is just being like on a roll he's the dude man <laughs> yeah, like, we wouldn't have been able to do this trip without you man we appreciate you everything you do for us we appreciate we really do dude this video took a lot of work one more time time yeah. effort there's a lot of things that went down and we put blood sweat and tears in this one literally man. literally dude yeah. literally so please make sure you go and like share and subscribe to the channel please hey and if you have anything you want us to do in a future video if you have a location that you want us to check out something similar to what we did today or not similar we're down for different stuff let us know man we'll, we will try we'll see what we can do and if and if that happens, man, you'll be the first to know. So We do the whole YouTube thing to be able to do things like we did today. Like, that is what we like to do. We love going out and fishing, but being able to explore a new place and catch a different species of fish to us is awesome. So Definitely. Maybe one day we can be doing this every day. That would be the goal. I mean, that would be the goal. But hey, y'all, it's super late right now. It's pitch black, dark outside. You wouldn't be able to see us if we didn't have this dude. big, bright lamp that's causing me to go blind early right now. And... So I'm, I'm about to sign off on this one, bro. Yeah, dude, let's do it, man. Let's throw, get these kayaks unloaded and, and go to bed. Just go ahead and give them the deuces. Peace.